I watched American Gladiator last saw, night, actually. I, 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 I thought you against Kid Rock. You, you know, I have to beat him. You kill him. I would have to. You kill him. Because I'd, I would be a villain, first of all. I uh, have to. The Marine Gone Bad would be your character. Oh, that would be a yeah. So I could be a. The U.S. Marine, the killer. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm oh, I like wrong. that. I'm about to say, can't you guys talk about this later when I'm I eating? I know, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what made you guys sign on to do this? And the question is, I really like that you guys signed on to do this because the audience turned out for that. I think that's really great. For me, it was a no-brainer to get involved with American Gladiators. I, I was thinking, you know, like, gosh, you know, this would be perfect because I'm not boxing right now, but I get to still be involved with people being athletic, fit, you know, and, and um, competing against each other. And it was new for me. It was a new challenge, which I like uh, to be the host, to be the person doing the interviews uh, and not it being opposite like it usually was. And then uh, the chance to work with Hulk Hogan, you know, he's a legend. And I couldn't think of any two people better than ourselves so wow i like that she thinks just like i do i like that too because you guys work well together i like that actually she's an american gladiator <laughs> i'm an american gladiator yeah hogan ali american gladiators no brainer how many episodes do you want spain oh what's that germany you mm -hmm. want just you want twice as many it's it, tra it translates across the board the action so it's it's a monster and then the success the show's had already um we just keep raising the bar. It's just incredible. This season, new gladiators, the contenders that came back as gladiators, really stepped up and they brought it. Oh, yeah. Which made all the gladiators get on their toes. This thing's on a roll. It's funny. I remember Michael O'Hearn. He's, he's a friend of mine. I hadn't seen him in a while. I'm like, wow. And during the strike when he came back, I'm like, good for you guys. Perfect timing on everything. Especially, who knew the audience was going to come out for this? And I'm, I, for one, am happy about that. Because who knew? Oh, I knew. I was on they Ryan did. Seacrest every morning screaming at him. We're filming tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. No, just kidding. It's just, um, I think the show's so well established. Creatively, there was no guesswork from the people that were fans of the show. You know, a decade ago, they would tell their kids about it. And the reruns have been on with the network. The people at the top of the food chain and the network didn't have to go, well, we should tweak this, or maybe, you know, Leo should be involved in some of the events. There was none of that. We knew what the show was. We knew it worked. They threw the ball at us to put our spin on it. They raised the bar production-wise, the physicalities, the bar's been raised. So we knew it would work, we just didn't know how well. And, we, and when we saw the initial numbers of how many women turned tuned in, we went, okay, Babe Ruth, center field, home run. I take all the credit for the women. No, I'm joking. She does. Yeah, you should. The women, the women tune in because of her, her, I know. her mindset of the way the women nowadays have stepped up and want to compete on whatever level it is, the business, workplace, or in the neighborhood, you know, getting involved, or in sports getting involved. The women have stepped up the ante. They've raised the bar on a competition level on this show, and the women don't have a chance to turn. What are you going to turn in on, the real world? You're going to turn in on, on people, you know, living in a house to lose or gain or fight or steal or cheat. I mean, this is real competition. And a family show. Yes, it is. And the women have a chance to vicariously live through American Gladiators because they see the contenders, the normal person, step up against the gladiator phenom, the female phenom, and the normal person has a big heart and a big motivation. That evens the playing field, and you get a chance to really win. It, it attracted the women viewer, and I think we're here to stay. Last question. Will all. we get the audience to come see this who hasn't turned in for this already? How do we do it? Yes. What would you say to get them to get the other word out to people who haven't seen it yet? I would just say that if you want to see some real competition with some real people who are fit, you know, and, and focused, and they come in there determined, then you definitely want to turn on the show. And then there, it has its funny aspects because these people, you never know what they're going to say, you know, and, and you never know what I'm going to say or what Hulk's going to say when we're interviewing them, you know, and it's just, you just get this, you, I think you just get this jolt of energy from watching, and it's something that the family can do together, and also hopefully it'll inspire people to be more active and to be healthier in their own lives, you know, let get the kids to watch something that's fun, you know, we've got all the different characters, the wolf, you know what I mean, and Phoenix. Justice, and Phoenix, and all, all of them, and, you know, get them active and say, hey, I want to be a gladiator instead of just playing video games and, and you know, being sedentary. Thank you guys. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.